Hey y'all, I'm back with another video for my lovelies. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. If this is your first time, welcome. I'm the Empress. Happy to be here with you. All right, so we got a card that fell on the floor. I'm not going to use that. So I feel like somebody's calling you in. All right, a situation was unrequited. This is somebody that you've been separated from. You guys split because the situation was unrequited, okay? So there wasn't enough balance to keep the relationship going. Um, so you decided to free yourself. You freed yourself from this person. All right, tell me more. You deserve love and deception. So this person lied to you. This person lied to you, deceived you in some way, shape, or form. When I feel like you did, you straight up did not deserve whatever route that they took after the breakup or right before the breakup. Whatever route that they took, it was deceptive, okay? It was deceptive. And they wore a mask. And I feel like y'all didn't deserve what they did to you, how they treated you. Now, once you decide to free yourself and you're focused on you, that's when true love comes in. And now this person wants to try to express their love to you. Like, uh-uh, you could have did that back then, boo-boo. They're going to be trying to get their friends to try to get them um, to help them reel you in. But you're busy loving yourself first, and some of y'all are definitely putting those of you with children you're putting yourself and your children first okay this connection is just too unrequited it's in, it's an unbalance so they're doing everything asking their friends asking people about you um trying to get their friends to help reel you in so they can they want to give this connection another chance they want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you to see if you're still optimistic about giving them another chance. Okay, can we get things back like how we used to be? Can we get back to us how we used to do things? So here they come. But see, really, this person just needs someone else to be dependent on. Okay, this person either A, wants you to be codependent on them, or B, they're going to be clinging to you like nobody's business. Okay, codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. So this person could have like some type of habit. They could be uh, messing around with drugs, alcohol. Uh, but overall, this person could be codependent upon you financially as well. So this person may want to come back around. Let's We're going to see what their real intentions is and why they want to come back. But you're busy focusing on you and what you got going on at, in your life. Um, and this person wants to creep back in. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what they they little ass want to say now. Because now you want somebody back. person want to say like this. what does this person want to say I hear who I really am from you so I told you they were wearing a mask they were very deceptive very deceptive I know that I crossed the line with you I know I was a distraction from your pain. So this person, they ain't keep it real. They didn't show you. You didn't find out the real them until it was too late. The real them is very deceptive, sneaky. What action is this person? Let's see what action they're going to take towards you. What action is this masculine going to take? Forgiveness, I told you. They want forgiveness, but see, the thing about it is, is they're dealing with their pride and their ego. They're coming from a very low vibrational space, okay? 
They could be stuck in a situation that they no longer want to be in. Yep, we got stuck in crossroad and barrier. They're stuck in a situation that they don't want to be in, and they're trying to find their way back to you. But their pride is in the way, okay? Their pride is definitely in the way. What action is this person going to take? They're dealing with a third party, okay? They're dealing with a third party. They, I tell you, they're in their dark energy. We got Twin Flame, uh, Dark Night of the Soul, and Release, and Summer. See, this person, this masculine plans on getting rid of this karmic uh, very soon, okay? But they're going to come in trying to play the victim. But they are dealing with a third party. And they want your forgiveness. They want your forgiveness. What action is this person going to take? See? Twin flame. <laughs> now they want to come back. Now they want to come back to their twin flame. But they know that they have to release this third party in order to come back towards you. How does this master feel about this third party? How does this master feel about this, this third party that they're dealing with? They're in a commitment with this third party. They have made some type of commitment to this. Okay, mirroring. I'm getting like some copycat energy. And conclusion. Yeah, see, this person, this masculine is contemplating real heavy. They feel stuck. We got bound. So they feel stuck to this commitment. Okay, they, they're in a commitment with this third party. Then we got them contemplating. They're coming to make an offer towards you, but it's they say it's about timing. Okay, we got offer and divine timing. So let's say it's about timing um, when they come and make you this offer. What action is they gonna, are they going to take towards this karmic? Observer and new direction. All right, so they're trying to find a way out. They're looking for a way out of this. They're looking for a way out of this third party connection that they got going on. We got families. So family could be involved. And we got unawakened. Karmic partner at the bottom. I'm getting somebody's family isn't aware. So maybe, oh, compromise and family. I didn't see that. Compromise and family. So I'm trying to see if he's, it looks like he's trying to find a way to compromise. Tell me more. Why is comic partner here? divine feminine so they're dealing with a karma karmic and why is divine feminine here deception yes they cheat okay so they they cheated on you with this karmic okay but still I feel like somebody's family has something to do with this his family why well, tell me more about family because i'm getting compromised okay in awakening and destruction so somebody he's going through an awakening he's going through some type of awakening he's going through an awakening tell me why unawakened is here fear so this masculine is afraid to contact you but I feel like he may be contacting you telepathically first because we got fifth dimension okay I feel like this masculine is taking his time to reinvent himself but he's definitely at a crossroad and he know that he got a decision that he has he have to make Yeah, I told you he's trying to find a way out. Observer in new direction. 
He's trying to find a way out. Abandon. Abandon me. And the answer is yes. He already trying to find a way out. But I feel like maybe the family, some it's like destroying this family. Or the family will be destroyed. He's realizing that. He's realizing that he destroyed his family by dealing with this karmic. And I feel like he was unaware that it was going to take this, that it was going to go this way. But he's afraid to communicate with you. So he's communicating with you telepathically. Yeah, blessings. He learned his lesson. He said he learned his lesson. And he said he had free will. And he willing to uh, surrender. He ready to surrender. So this masculine definitely is very aware of the fact that he messed up. And he messed up a good thing. All right, y'all. That's the message that I got for y'all. Y'all let me know what's going on in that comment section below, all right? I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.